Without breaking any of the pairs of glasses, put all the pairs of glasses into the smallest of these boxes. You must select your box before leaving the caravan. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Pairs of glasses. Didn't see this coming. Good to see you all. My name's James, I'm from England. So, won't surprise you that this first joke is about apricots. <laughs> you knew it. As soon as I opened my mouth, you're like, oh great, it's another apricot routine. I listen to another Brit bang on about apricots for an hour. I don't make any apologies, we love apricots. We love that and Brexit is all we love. <laughs> First subject is adventure. Who wants to come in that? James. Uh, I'm not a very adventurous person. Um, <laughs> I, I've only ever used one side of a cheese grater. <laughs> <laughs> Got no idea what the other three sides even do. <laughs> I'm not the only one either, because everyone knows what side I'm talking about, right? Like, <laughs> big holes. <laughs> That's more pairs than I thought I'd get. I'm sure, there's a couple of glasses that are bigger than the box. Yeah, funnily enough, I'm not going anywhere near those ones, Alex. I've, I've written them off. <laughs> Love apricots. I bought some ready to eat apricots the other day. You, you call them dried apricots, but we call them ready to eat apricots because that's how much we love apricots. <laughs> In Britain, we're like, when? <laughs> when can I? I need to know when can I. Immediately? Well, put it on the bag then. Put it on the bag. I want them on my teeth so bad. Bought some ready to eat apricots the other day. I'm trying to be more healthy. They say you are what you eat, which is true, because as soon as I bought the ready to eat apricots, I was ready to eat apricots. <laughs> Got no time for small holes and tiny holes. And don't know if you've ever seen small, it's the roughest side I don't know if you've ever, ever seen in my life, small holes. There's rows of tiny little spikes, so I'm going to use that side as in self defence. <laughs> then you've got to wash it. I don't know how you negotiate that. <laughs> how you wash something that is rougher than your own scouring pad. <laughs> Those ready to eat apricots, they came in a resealable bag as well, because not everyone's as ready to eat apricots as they think they are. Maybe next time they'll buy ready to eat some apricots. <laughs> yeah, man. I refuse to believe that anyone has ever used the side with the three curvy slits in it. <laughs> Don't need them. <laughs> Get rid of them, replace with something I'd actually use in my day-to-day -day cheese needs. <laughs> that is a goddamn miracle that I did that. Well, you've got six pairs of glasses in there, have you? Not bad. And how do you want the Toastmaster to transport the rest? If I was a removal man, and then he was there going, well, how do you want me to transport the rest? I'll go, up your ass. <laughs> I want to break him. Smallest ass wins. Thank you very much, James. So you didn't realise it had the polo hidden in it, the polo neck? No, and I put it on and I thought, oh, this will be funny now. You've got to roll with it. I thought, this will be funny. I look stupid. And everyone all day said it suited me, which is worse. Yeah. <laughs> that is a goddamn miracle that I did that. Well, you've got six pairs of glasses in there, have you? Not bad. Does he get a good shot of this? <laughs> All the memes that you love are comedians abroad. That's what you guys don't know. <laughs> that meme with the baby that's like that, that is, that is a really edgy comic from Scandinavia, <laughs> that baby. Over my shoulder, older and older. That's what I told you. Over my shoulder, I'm getting colder. Is that a boulder? I like the way all the... What's the sauce called in the lasagna? Uh, bechamel. bechamel. That congeals. <laughs> You're right, I haven't... I have hardly had any desserts the whole time I've been here. It's been awful. I, I'm, I'm so starving for... Thing, uh, I had to name the show a while ago. I thought the show was going to be about those things. It's not. It's a mystery <laughs> even to me at this point. <laughs> Some of my insides are trying to burst into my outsides. And... Within and 
Bearing in mind, the audience didn't know this, but I think they could sense it, because no laughs, they weren't on my side. Worst round in Taskmaster history. <laughs> can you save it? Pretty sure I can. I'd love a bang, bang, boom. <laughs> yeah, you love a bang, bang, boom, boom. We love bang, bang, boom, boom films on bang, this. Bang, you do, boom, but don't boom, tell her husband. Shoot, shoot. He knows he's been in the tent with me. He knows what I like. A bang, bang, boom, boom. Yeah, he knows what I watch <laughs> before I go to bed. Shoot. And uh, Jason McKenzie doesn't mind sharing water as well, so. Why do you have to share water? Bath times. But you know there's not a, there's not a government order about water. You could have, you could have your own water. You gotta ration it out. No, no one said that. No one said you have to ration the water out. Jason McKenzie said it. How old is Jason McKenzie? 58. The advice I can give the taskmaster for this one, expect the unexpected, baby. Can you tell him that? You want me to tell him to expect the unexpected? Baby. Three words. Deja vu. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Everyone who you spoke to about The Matrix has gone, I can't wrap my head around it, man. Try and watch The Matrix, man. <laughs> are, are... Who are these two of these people? My parents. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just got some sugar, I racked it up into a line, and then uh, I licked it all up. You were in a band, weren't you? You were in quite a few bands. Loads of bands, mate. The Wow Scenario, the Capri Sun Quartet. <laughs> New hardcore skiffle movement. I was wow. in all of them. <laughs> Stunt bonus! Stunt bonus! Stunt bonus! Stunt bonus! I hope you do do that track. I am. It's happening. What's it called? I can't tell you yet. Good title. <laughs> pants on a stick, waving from side to side, my pants on a stick. Whose pants? My pants. Your pants. No, no. <laughs> nice song. I'm a percussionist myself. No. If you think of sticks at all. Well, okay. You're not a musician, mate. Um, <laughs> I would like to be surrounded by, like, some dark chocolate ganache and some, like, freeze-dried raspberries that were put in the cake before they went inside. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't have had you down as such a big Beyoncé fan. Oh, well, oh, I didn't have you down. I'm such an ignorant host. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> People in the Matrix think they're existing in one reality. Yes. But in fact, it turns out they're plugged into machines and they're experiencing an entirely different reality. Greg, can you go back to the beginning? I didn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Hurts! Hurts! I'm not good at ice skating. No. When I was a kid, I got my ice skate stuck in my back. Uh, and uh, while, while I was wearing it, pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> I was really drunk. I went, I'm going to have another go at that lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> Time for round two. I, I got a, a serving spoon. I was confident. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in my mouth. Just the nicest <laughs> meal I've ever had. <laughs> just the way the, the cold beef was as much, it's like almost plumper. A more succulent. If I've been there for 20 minutes or so, <laughs> yeah. I would have understood you getting irritated, but I still yep. wouldn't have expected you to use that sort of language. <laughs> but, uh, you apologise and we'll leave it there. Very sorry. That's all right. <laughs> we, we went into lockdown together and we've been revising all year for this. <laughs> and I just was like, cold lasagna's delicious, it's the best thing ever, this is the happiest day of my life, the best year of my life was 1999, and now I've started going, I hate myself. <laughs> And I've just realised how much I hate myself because the drunkenness court kicked in. And I was embarrassed because my letter was a lot shorter. Oh, it was Mine rubbish. just said, Hanoi good, you cool. <laughs> that's all it said. Uh, James A. Custer, what did you bring in that's confusing and why will it confuse me? A DVD of The Matrix. <laughs> Ed, I need your permission. Oh, please, eat the rest of the cake. Thank you, Ed. Bye, James, have a good lockdown. Stay sugary. And then within half an hour of being on the show, and I wish this was a lie, <laughs> I went to a steakhouse and <laughs> my pants. Do you think you actually enjoyed it, or do you just think you were so drunk you didn't know? Well, to be fair, I did try it again sober. Ah. It was disgusting. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Bombs away.
exactly how you would imagine it. <laughs> what does that mean? It tastes like a, a cake. This has never helped me get off. I don't think anyone would get off if you were there. No. <laughs> if I could have half an hour yeah. and the use of the internet, I'm sure I could do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. One bang for stop, <laughs> two bangs for a snack. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a wonderful night. <laughs> <coughs> Are you Welsh? What? What? <laughs> I'll be Prince William, of course. I would only let him cut my hair if he was dressed as Zorro. <laughs> I don't want to go in, Mummy. No, no. Do. <laughs> Do you want a ski slope going? Oh no! Oh no! I'm 60 miles an hour. I think I'm going to crash into the tree. Oh, I know. I'll tap on the window. <laughs> it's the idea that... Sending you a heart. Now, <laughs> Have you left the gas on? Well, well, I lied to you. <laughs> <laughs> it was the second ball. <laughs> David. <laughs> <laughs> Bang, right in the eye. Bang, right in the eye. There's an old saying. You're warmer in a bush than on a bench. <laughs> if I was giving a man a rubber, and he went away, and he came back and went, that smells differently, I would say, why does it smell differently? I would just leave it at that and go, that's different, yeah, here's a pound. And go, oh, I look wonderful. <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, uh, guys, how you doing? It's me again, he said it. Oh, they get dirty, my friend. Do they? <laughs> oh, yes. Someone's left a bag and a dismembered body Hang on. in a bush. <laughs> and have pushed my son into the ground. This is why we've been taking all the drugs! <laughs> I can feel, um, you know, these horrible thoughts coming into my mind, you know, we could take him out, you know, we could... <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I removed all of his belongings from his bedroom and replaced them with cabbages. <laughs> Originally, I was in a T-shirt and then I had to put a dress on. I've donated quite a lot of money to my local dogfighting arena. You know what we haven't done in a while? <laughs> we, haven't, we haven't beaten someone up in a while. <laughs> <laughs> You know, here's my dog in the snow. Here are my tits. On the ladder crisis, had deepened <laughs> at that point. <laughs> Is that a nice thing? I think it's a nice thing. I think you're you're All a right. you're a tiny little fella. <laughs> this looks like a candle. It's a pen, you idiot. Well, I lie to you. Whoa! <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, what's happened? Oh. I'm nearly killed. <laughs> I didn't want a builder to think I wasn't one of the boys. <laughs> Irish gentlemen tend to... Oh. Wear... The sheep was hanging around the back of a pub... Wearing stockings. Yeah. <laughs> Were you I? Am I allowed to look silly? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think... What chair's sinking? <laughs> Slug in my living room, what does it mean? <laughs> Let's not go round again. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's not go. You can't dance to save your life. <laughs> oh my god! There's a spider under my desk. And it smacks me in the face, and I fall backwards over the sofa. Nice. Half his hair was all on fire. <laughs> so, um, so you I started got... laughing. Yes. Oh. No sense of humour during a house fire. All right, you geezer. Stephen, darling, yes. how many bitches did you have in your hand? It's Kermit the Frog. Uh, yeah. Cheers. You've got half a haircut and no shoes on. <laughs> oh, no, we like Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or careful, son. The ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> <laughs> we asked some builders for a ladder. Panty liner yes. on your bleeding hand. Yes. It was an adventure. Christmas. Uh, Mr. Hyde in a play and licked a girl's face. New Year's Day. Jump in the school long jump pit naked. <laughs> Help me. Oh, no, you word... didn't. No, Rob, it's close Nine... enough as a joke. And his arm was on fire. Wild. <laughs> like someone took a mullet and went like that. Yeah. <laughs> he really is a wild man. <laughs> All right. Hello, no. you muppets. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, um, yes, you're right. It Let it go! No, because the joke doesn't work. Well, I think you'll find that all us lot disagree. 